Reporting on a technical analysis originally presented by the Ukrainian outlet Army Inform, Valentina Romanenko of Ukraine Pravda reports about recent developments at the Center for the Research of Trophy and Prospective Weapons and Military Equipment within the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The center has unveiled findings regarding Russian attempts to modify the Iranian Shahid-136 unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Captain Andriy Rudik, speaking on the modified Russian iteration of the Iranian Shahid-136, noted that the alterations were primarily focused on the engine while leaving most other aspects unchanged from previous versions. According to him, the Micropilot UAV Flight Control System's MD-550 possessed identical capabilities to its predecessor, the Motto MD-550. One notable departure in the current version is the manufacturing method of the UAV's hull, a detail setting it apart from older models. Until the summer of 2023, the center's personnel had encountered Shahid 130 success with solid cast hulls, whereas the modified version features a composite fuselage. Additionally, changes in the labeling, including a different font and series, have been observed. These variations may be attributed not so much to production enhancements but possibly to political considerations since the Russians are responsible for labeling in both cases. Furthermore, alterations have been observed in the filler material used in these UAVs. Previously, printed honeycombs were employed, but now a solid material akin to polyurethane foam is being used. Rudik emphasized that the General Staff Center's research has shown no functional differences between the types of filler. It is presumed that this substitution aims to reduce the manufacturing costs of the UAV's outer shell. Additionally, the Russians have introduced new servomotors and engines. However, these changes do not appear to enhance the tactical or technical characteristics of the Shahid-136. In Captain Rudik's assessment, these transformations may initially appear cosmetic but could signal Russia's intention to initiate mass production of this UAV.